Hi, my name is Roland Barcia. I'm an IBM Distinguished Engineer and CTO of our Garage Solution Engineering team. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about enabling GitOps. What is GitOps? Well, basically, GitOps is focused around uh, the same types of things that developers have been doing for years for their application source code, things around CI, CD, uh, using source control with Git uh, to manage the state of an application, but really applied to the realm of things that you do with infrastructure operations um, in a Kubernetes context in a modern platform like OpenShift or the IBM Kubernetes service in IBM Cloud, you're defining artifacts as code. And site reliability engineers or SREs or DevOps engineers really spend half their time writing code. And GitOps is really about using the same processes that developers have been using for years. So for example, a developer would write Java code, Node code, Python code, check that into Git. They usually will have some type of CI process uh, with something like a Jenkins or something like uh, more modern Tekton uh, environment to kind of build an application, build it, uh, deploy it to servers, et cetera. Uh, in a Kubernetes context, uh, you're building a lot more artifacts to configure that application to run in a Kubernetes environment. So for example, an application developer might also have application config to define things like deployment, how it's exposed as a service, uh, things like container images. Uh, a site reliability engineer might also share that artifact or create uh, versions of that artifact for later environments that are more controlled. The cluster itself can be looked at as an application that needs to be managed as well. And I do things to a cluster like configure namespaces, uh, configure uh, security, configure networking, storage. I might create an operator uh, that then is being used um, as a Kubernetes object. And so these are all software artifacts. And all of these can use the same mechanisms for being checked into our source control repository. So Git really becomes the source of truth and not the actual servers or the clusters, et cetera, for the state of your cluster and the configuration of your application. And so for example, uh, we wanna be able to um, build out those applications, build out those environments the same way and use CD tools like Argo CD or if you're using things like policies, uh, you can create a HIPAA compliant policy, for example, through YAML, something like uh, uh, CloudPack for management. And uh, the idea is this controller will keep the state of the cluster and listen for changes maybe through a webhook or something like that in Git and apply those changes from there. So an SRE might you know, have a local environment like CRC, uh, code ready containers, where they're testing that YAML, but eventually we want them to act like full out developers, checking that in and letting the CD process with Argo CD uh, manage these environment. You can use kind of template tools, I'll put over here, like Helm to perhaps uh, templatize different environments and do that. But so what do we do if there's a site reliability engineer that gets access to an environment and actually issues uh, kubectl commands, uh, kubectl apply sneaky YAML and puts the cluster out of state. We wanna be able to uh, detect drift. So I'll just write this over here. Um, and this is a key concept, drift, right? We're able to detect drift and do some actions with that. For example, I can automatically detect the drift and pull the state through a webhook from Git and reapply the state that's in Git back to the cluster. Maybe in a more controlled environment, there's a reason why this is happening. Um, so maybe he's not as sneaky. We'll just label him sneaky or her, sneaky SRE. And, um, you know, maybe they did something, maybe you wanna not necessarily apply, but still detect drift and send out a notification or run a series of tests through post actions. But whatever you do, wanna detect drift and get it back to the state that's applied in Git. So GitOps is expanding the whole CI CD paradigm, DevOps paradigm, 
to things like app config and cluster config and uh, making SREs act like developers. This is a key concept in maintaining the state of your clusters and very important for our clients to be able to evolve their applications, their workloads, and their platform. Thank you.